Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to SimCity. In the background you can see a river bend with the bend in the river basically. And here in front of us we have the city that is currently known as Twain. And if you have a better name for it in the future please let me know in the comments, but for now I think this region will be quite funny. Um, the thing is, it doesn't have coal or, or oil, so we cannot in any way rely on fossil fuels to money up this city. And the only thing it really does have is uh, quite some water, actually. It has some water near the river, obviously, and it extends a bit into the middle of the city. Now, what the region really needs is industry and commerce. Strangely enough, despite the fact that there are way too many jobs available in the other cities and apparently oh yeah this doesn't look right because this is another city in between so and until that's claimed it will probably not show a lot of good stuff there now what are we going to do is uh, we are going to connect this city and one way of doing this is actually to change the way that the regional connection works out. So I am going to pause it quickly. And this episode we will be uh, building this city uh, up a little bit. And the road is gone. Hooray. And let's see. And, and if I did that I could lower it. But ah, again the water. Oh my water is such an issue in this region isn't it and uh, wow I could even make yeah if you could make canals like this uh, canals that would be funny but again this region we cannot go on top of anything so I think for now we shall um, actually I do want this first bit to be connected like a regular um, five-way street so well I mean what am I saying? I mean a high density road. And let's see, so we need this to be connected as well. How much is that? Yeah, it, it does cost us a little bit of money, but I think this gives us a li little more room to build the city we want to build, rather than being constricted to something else. So this is the regional connection, and we now have 17,000 left to actually build our city. And... Hmm. Let's just start off by building some uh, crossroads here. One and here we want another. About this far in. I think this is not. It actually is quite straight. So. Yeah, I could do this, but then we would have zero monies left. So let's do it like so and make some side streets in it as well. Um, building like this is in the, the other grid. I think what we're going to do is make a grid on the first area and then we will uh, leave it for other things. Wait, why is this suddenly extended all the way here? Huh, apparently that's... Oh well, that's okay. Um. So this needs to go until here, and then, why did this look different then? Okay, so these actually give us a different dimension in grid-based building. Um, actually, I need you again. Yeah, I do want this to be the connection with the avenues though, so... Um, yeah, let's remove you again. And actually finish you from here on. And uh, we don't have the money anymore, huh? The th lucky thing is we are in a region, so we can just build take a bond straight from the get-go and do it like this. So, uh, yeah, I think we need to expand both of these avenues regardless. So, this will be our grid-based uh, commercial area and. I think I only want, yeah, I do want it connected, but I don't want it to be any more than it has to be. And let's see. You know, this will be, uh, yeah, we do want some interconnections at least. And I want like this, and then we shall build our first, wait, what? 
is oh right we need to unpause it first to actually be allowed building anything else and this will be for now the old commercial i will leave this open for more commercial but we will need some people actually living in town so and what i do not want is more uh grid really at least not in this town i mean the basically the downtown area of the city will be grids but that's about it i do want to maximize density a little bit but roads here will definitely not be uh, going very straight so let's just do something like this um, Yeah, it looks a bit funky, but that's fine by me. And one in the middle here. So we have some nice neighborhoods. And this city will be, for the large part, higher wealth as well. Uh, which means we can build some parks here in the middle. Definitely stretching off of the avenue, because I do try to avoid building any buildings on the avenue in here. So we want uh, Plaza. And I do want it here. And let's extend this plaza already. And there won't be any buildings being built here regardless. So but we do need some higher reach buildings as well. I think this one should be fine. No. Huh. That's annoying. They don't reach as far. So I will have to build some more parks over here. If we build a formal fountain park, uh, no, that's too small. Oh, they're all very small, actually. So, um, let's do it like so and add uh, something behind it. A smaller one, please. So we don't actually make it too much room costs. Uh, let's see here. Um, plaza will be fine. And I will build one. Huh. And over here. And expand you a bit as well. Like so. And I need to park over here in this corner. Oh well. Yeah, this will cost us some money per hour for now. But that's going to be fine. And you will also be expanded a bit more. Uh, like so yay now we have some very high wealth areas we do cost it does cost us a lot of money um, good thing is though we can buy water and power and sewage treatment from the other city from Riverbend and one downside to this is of course the fact that it will not garner us a lot of tax money at the start so I will continue our roads a little bit more and this is to allow for a sideway and we need to make a corner going in like such and I think what we'll do is actually build some roads onto the edge of town like so for some higher density stuff just some side roads that really work. Oh, that's a bit weird. That each delivers people somewhere else. And this town will also have a university and such things. Okay, so I need to build it out from here first. And another one over here. Not enough money. Oh my. Now we are losing all of our money, so we'll take a bond soon as well. This will be uh, probably medium or low wealth buildings, probably medium. And not high, we have our high area for now. And I do feel that there is a lot of room on these avenues specifically to build some extra housing. So here in this area I will do it like this. Uh, what we do need right now is the second bond. 
for expanded building rights and abilities and possibilities. Hmm, these mansions do not pop up as fast as I would hope. But I do need some semblance of industry at least, or else. Let's uh, your worker shortage. Well, yeah, obviously, they're just moving in. So let's just speed it up for now. We have gotten the approvement for the town hall, and I could build it like right in here somewhere. This will be a fine location for the town hall. It's a bit out of the way, but that's just fine and dandy. Uh, so, congratulations, we can name the city if you want. So if you have any ideas for our names, please let me know in the comments below. Or on Twitter, actually, Why you can post it there as well. Uh, so, let's have a huge-ass soccer field. Uh, no, it's a baseball field, actually. I'm fine with a baseball field. And let's extend it into a uh, skate park as well. So we have some more high medium wealth buildings going up. And let's see, could I get a volleyball courts system placed as well? If we build these at the end of the roads, it will actually extend the amount of uh, wealth in the area as well. Actually, you need to be expanded to get the maximum and high wealth around here. So, what's the deal, Leo, now? Not enough medium wealth shoppers. Well, they're now coming into town, so that should be fixed. And what we do need is some factories as well as an actual... Uh, actual lower wealth area. So, let's just build some more... Uh, the avenue along the coast here. I think this is actually going to be fine. Such a road along the edge. And there's of course this road that goes straight into the middle of the city. And let's see. Ah, we're almost making money in this town, which is pretty cool. And we will connect this one over here. And no, hang on. Like so. Now I have one road going along the outside of the city, and we're almost out of money again, so we'll have to take another bond. Well, the other thing I could do was to send money from River Bend, of course, to this town, but it's it's still a bit unreliable, I, I think, sending money between cities, but yeah. So how are they doing? Uh, looking good, educated. Oh, they're being, really, they're educated? Oh, wow. How is this even possible? The city is broke. Yeah, I'm gonna pass another bond measure. Make sure to keep an eye on your budget. Yeah, I will, I will. Don't worry about that. So, um, this seems like a decent spot for a little bit of industry. And what I do want to try is to get the industry to become higher wealth, higher tech, actually, would be the right wording. And let's see. Let's just continue this road a little bit on. So we have a connection into the center of the city. And this will also just be a large neighborhood for people. And yeah. So, well, this road, I feel, will be impossible to build on. Uh, actually, it's not. If I just force it a little bit out first, people can actually move on to there. And I will build a road here as well, because this is an easier one to build. Okay, turn off the guides for now, because it's getting a little bit annoying. And this, this would be fine. And then road in the middle here. And this road will extend throughout this area in the middle. Whoa, what the hell? That looked way weird. 
So yeah, this is basically just building roads and getting the city connected into the rest of this, well, interconnecting everything, so making some decent looking neighborhoods, making the roads not uh, connected consistently towards each other, so there's actually some room in between areas, so yeah, this looks fine, I th oh, except for this road. Uh, and this will actually connect over here f just fine. So let's build some more um, residential areas here because this is just perfect. Except for uh, this, of course. I did not want them here and I do not want them on the center either. Oh, that was the wrong one, obviously. And you gone, you gone. Uh, yes, I will fix that. And on this outside one, I really don't mind it at all. And this can be removed a little bit, though, just to have some room for something different if we want to. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. I need to fix this one up completely and oh I actually do want some stuff there so let's uh, have people move into town we have some factories going up over here there are seven six factories so we need a slight extra room for a seventh factory because seven factory is basically the um, point where you get what you need I think it is um, wow wealth is pretty damn high too so lots of uh, medium wealth people moving in right now this is good not enough medium wealth shoppers well they are moving into town right now so uh, work available all oh, wow they're actually <laughs> they're actually unemployed we actually have unemployed high wealth people it's only one it's only one but they're actually unemployed and I'm like I'm f wow, that's actually quite uh, interesting. Uh, people are moving in. This will I will keep this free until we can actually build something out of that. Um, yeah. What do we need? Well, we're now making lots of money, so let's start with the police station as soon as I can build it. I know we need water, power, and sewage, but we're actually buying it all, so I'm not too worried about it. Not enough freight. Every time, every bloody time, not enough freight producers. Did you need one more room to actually build another factory? I hope so, that they will actually build it. Um, Alright, that's actually a much better one to get, and that would be the schools. Um, let's start with adding the bus stops for the kids to get to school in time. Yeah. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Divine Intervention. Oh yeah, sure, I will build a uh, temple of worship for you guys, because it will uh, make you happier and stuff. And that's about everyone with school bus slots. I do want, of course, the great school in this town, and I will build it right over here. I think would be a good location. Uh, or actually, no, here would be great to fill up some space. So now we have 150 desks, but we do need a ton more because there are already so many people in here. And yeah, one extra bus, and I want a sign and a flag already. So, get some kids to school, please. That would be fine and dandy. We're making tons of money. Actually, now we're almost at 2,000 an hour. Wow. Despite the fact that we have a lot of people uh, commuting in, apparently. Anyway, um, no, not commuting in. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, unemp Whoa, we have some unemployment in town. So this uh, means that we'll actually... Okay, put on the guides. Um, yeah, this is annoying because I want it... I need this one actually. 
So now we can add another area of commercial. Because that's what, no, wait, we'll add two just because we can. And this makes people go to have more jobs and such. Um, educating the town will be good to eventually get, um, this is the city where we want the university. And because, well, it has no natural resources. So any real thing in city specialization would be either culture or gambling is the only thing we can do. Or we need to import everything. And that's so expensive to do. So let's think about it. What can we do right now? Oh yeah, um, I built a school. So now I want to build a police department and a fire the fire thing, fire station. Is that the one it's called? It's actually there is a fire, and it's called a fire station. And of course, at this moment, I do not have the money to buy one, or actually increase my money to buy one what do you want um no hooky yeah i'll do it i mean we don't get anything from it but we will see them go there quite soon uh the fire station we can build it in the next hour easily and just need to wait for the money to take in and uh, here would be a fun nah, i will build it a little more uh ideal where we don't Actually, oh yeah, here would be a fine spot. That's why I left it open anyway, to buy, to build such a thing like a fire station. I'll build the full, uh, bell up top, because the bell is actual fun has an actual function. We don't have the money to buy a flag. <gasps> oh my, that's just insane. Anyway, what I was saying, the fire alarm actually has a use in that it trucks will respond twice as fast to something happening in the city and we have some more money to actually build the flagpole yeah I guess the alarm was quite expensive in itself and um, stuff we do want in a city like this is all the whoa okay there is some traffic going on here I do hope that people going through the region will take the fastest route along the outside and uh, but yeah, ah yes, this this is of course a very busy point because people need to go between ah all all working people need to pass this intersection right now. Hmm. To get to a job, which is not going to be the most useful of uh, ways to get people there, but and of course all the connections here will also be quite unhandy. Um, what I think we're going to do is remove a couple of the roads just a little bit out and instead turn them into bridges across the middle stretch. So we need to go up, up, up and one more up. And like uh, so, that should be fine and you here as well. And that would be like so. That's fine. Now we have some actual zoning there, which should not have been there. But okay. Sometimes it just bugs out. It still bugs out a little, the zoning, which is weird. But yeah, this will alleviate some of the um, stress on the roads. People here will never really be stressed. But some people will want to go through these areas to the other side of town, which is annoying. I mean towards the oh what's too much crime yeah we do need the um, police station quite fast we're sending sewage away what do you want now not enough freight producers do we have some unemployment we have a little bit of unemployment so one more factory is not that big a deal this will all be all the factories we build really and until the, well they sh when they increase their density it should be fine and all their stuff is selling pretty damn well because it's the only factories in town. So let's think about it. Um, Sizer, hmm. So arsonists are coming from the other city now. That's just annoying. Go home. Really, seriously, go home. <sighs> Need to wait a few more hours. 
and we can expand our police coverage as well in this city and I think I want to build it right next to the commercial area because that's where the uh, crime will uh, commence there's not as much robberies going on at homes as there are at stores so making sure that everyone is safe in the commercial area is going to be fine uh, let's see what's wait what what is this saying they need coal oh god oh right because we just barely started smelting I guess that might be the issue still not enough freight in city there should be enough freight and it's it's abandoned because of too much crime but they just had a fire so I'm not sure if that's actually right anyway ooh, we have some seriously people are going around here is sometimes these things go so strangely um, I do feel that we should have some extra connections like so done wait what are you fucking getting me okay that's more like it uh, here we go so if you guys are connected maybe some people will actually take this road instead and this leaves some more room for other stuff in here also we need to think uh, I think the university will be on this area actually uh, other stuff well first we do is build the police station because that is something we need right now we also need the clinic obviously but that's a little bit more saving again yay saving but a police station is perfect at this point because we have a lot of commercial so people will be happy about that so let's have a look at density oh wow our uh, high wealth area is already close to expanding density so we are going to allow them to expand definitely Wow, that was actually quite expensive. But yeah, I'm going to allow them to expand for sure. Uh, maybe this area not so much um, because, well, this is not about getting many people in town. This is about really getting uh, a nice looking city out there. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this city as it is right now. Um, let's look. Available jobs commuting out. Ooh, that's very good. They're actually going to work in... Uh, Riverbend some of them. There are not many, but there are zero unemployed and there are only 16 jobs available. So I would say this is going very well. Not enrolled, enrolled, extra desks. So is not everyone getting to school in time? Yeah, they might not be yet. This, that might be fixed in the future though. And let's see, there's some fire going on. Uh, how much is a clinic? 20,000. Yeah, that's the first thing we build uh, next time we get back to the city. Anyway, I want to say um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you watching my videos. It's It means a lot to me. It means that some somebody actually likes these videos, which in itself is quite amazing. But yeah, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.